Welcome, Earth Signs. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and we are about to get into the July 2024 Tarot forecast for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. A reminder that this is a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave the rest, do not force anything to fit. And if you want more messages, because we are going to dive deeper over at Harmonia Friends, yes, and you can join the membership for free for a month to gain access to all of the July Tarot readings and more. I have a whole vault worth of three years at this point of content. So go over, check it out, um, and you can download the app there on Spaces with Wix as well uh, to get easy access on there and notifications of when I go live. All right, let's get started here, Earth Signs. We're using a pretty cool deck here. This is called the Obsidian Veil deck. If you like any of the decks that I use um, in this, you can just go to the description box. I list them all there. But this is a shadow deck. And as you guys know, I am the shadow priestess here where I do a lot of teaching on shadow work, uh, helping individuals see the fragmentations uh, and the importance of inner child work and becoming the best version of who they want to be, who they want to be, desire to be, and allow it to be integrated in the now, in the now. So sometimes we have to look at those dark parts and yeah, so that's what it's about. But let's see what this deck has to say for you. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the challenge is for you this month. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. Spirit, what is going on for our earth signs? Here we go. Ah, uh, my favorite. There she is <laughs> talking about shadow work here. Medusa. She actually, her story is an inspiration for me starting my Mastering the Mirror workshop, which is, is coming back, by, by the way, guys. So make sure you uh, look at that uh, at my website to, so you sign up for that list. But it says here, behind the lie cursed gave lies a story of strength. For even in stone, I am unbreakable. So the most common story with Medusa is that she was cursed, right? Because she defiled one of the temples here with Poseidon. But there are some stories that Poseidon uh, wasn't so nice to her. And then to protect her, cursed her from the prettiest, loveliest woman to the ugliest. And anyone who laid their eyes on her and she stared back, she would turn them to stone. But her tale, to me, is of liberation as well. And I tell a little bit of a different tale, and I'm not going to go so into that. But what I feel for you this month, because it's about you or signs, is there's a part of you that feels cursed. There's a part of you that feels like a villain. Where others may upon have looked at you in a more um, surface level appearance wise, but it's like as soon as they got to see the real you, that was the stone portion that happened. But that stone portion was also a protection. You are protected. And if you think of even in the stories, Medusa, she's on the Athena shield and it is more prominent within the Trojan War. And the soldiers would hold the shield with Medusa on to intact Fear, fear. She was feared. There's something here where you are being challenged <laughs> to take this power and liberate yourself and like an unstoppable force that the individuals who fear you were not really meant to be there anyway. I think of snakes. I think of transformation. But let's see what the book has to say here, because uh, I like to see what sometimes if there's additional messages. So give me a second while I find it. Here we go. It says, Medusa's story involves societal rejection and being misunderstood due to her monstrous form. 
when this card appears or signs, it encourages you to rise above the judgments and expectations of others. Embrace your true self. This is why I fucking love her. Embrace your true self. Regardless of societal norms or opinions and find strength in being authentic. The authentic you. The authentic you. I like this. I feel like you are liberating yourself this month. Um, and there may be some, some points in, in this month's energy that challenges you, that is not serving you anymore, or just saying who you truly are. And listen, it doesn't mean you got to be nasty about it either. <laughs> okay. There's just some things that you can still have boundaries um, and be respectful as long as you're being good, as long as you're being authentic, as long as you're not hurting another individual purposely is what spirit is stating. And you remain true. Only the best outcomes can happen for you, really. And so I do feel that you have broken the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the tale goes that Perseus was the one who had the ability to kill Medusa. They utilized her head for the Kraken, if you remember the Clash of the Titans movie, right? I have a little bit of a different variation that I explore the story told in another way, that it was actually a sacrifice as a protection to help others see <laughs> the power that they had within themselves. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Don't forget, we don't have reversals here on initial story play. Oh, look at this temperance energy. Sagittarius energy. You are realigning. Um, this, is a, this is a month where you're being called upon to be very patient with yourself. A lot of self-care is needed for my earth signs this month. But I also feel that whatever, and I love how the dragon is like bathing in the water. It's kind of like getting a big gulp here, okay? This is because I feel almost like, and I'm seeing this as a fire dragon, not so much a water dragon, even though it's here. It's almost like whatever was burnt out was really hurting you. And when I feel like your throat area is that there might have been some cruel things said in the past or have come up or bitterness and resentment. And a lot of this was because the accountability portion was that you were not filling your own cup. And I feel something here about replenishing, replenishing your sources here um, with the temperance energy. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Six of swords. You're moving on, making peace. Uh, not in your head anymore. Six is a really good number of balance here, but I also feel like there was a lot of things that you were anxious about in the past that this month almost feels like you're in a new environment, uh, feeling really good. And this new environment could just be some of you are newly single. Some of you are finally um, at peace or at rest with a situation maybe that you were bitter or resentful for. Others of you, it's um, moving moving on or moving in a new location. Some of you are relocating or changing job status or even job type. Nine of Wands. This is also, I just keep hearing, I need time to heal. So you are going to be challenged this month from individuals or things that haunt you from the past that may make you very defensive talking about, or you may not be ready to. I feel this area though of a pause of boundaries and you may have individuals here who have turned the tables and made you look like Medusa. Oh my gosh, I'm scared because you may have individuals who are scared of this new version of you that takes the time to replenish, that 
has moved forward. I, I don't know. It's just this energy of I have moved on. And this month, you are moving on and taking the time to to breathe, to be present, to focus on things here that make you feel emotionally fulfilled, not necessarily sacking, sacrificing yourself because of what you can externally do upon expectations of others. So we're going to dive into this for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Um, but if not, this is where we part ways. You guys take care and have a good one.